Come on a little closer. Come on in. Don't be scared. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Tavarius. Tavarius, how old are you? I'm 29. And what do you do? I uh, actually am on tour for our PBS Children's Story. Oh, yeah. like you write children's books? Yeah. or I have an animation company that I started when I was 21 years old. Nice. And then um, it's basically about my childhood and teaching young black boys that black dads do care. Wow, I love yeah. that. All right, if we can start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yes. Hi, I'm Ishi. I'm 28. Nice to meet Firstly, you. I want to say that you're a very well-rounded young man. Like, everything that you have going on, A1. Um, it was the attraction for me and then also the height. I'm pretty tall, so. I mean, you know, we have another story that honestly doesn't surprise me. It really shouldn't surprise y'all, and it's just sad. Um what's going on but basically uh this brother was on this uh you know this menstrual show i mean this balloon popping show and you know it, it, it i guess it's a new this is a new thing you know you go in there and you get to talk and they get the popping balloons you know y'all already know if, if you if they keep the balloons it's a, it's a possible option but at least a lot of people that i've seen from the men and the women's side you know they pop the balloons and try to be funny and all that other good stuff right well the brother walked out and immediately everybody pops the balloons and then he says, they ask what he do for a living, oh, one girl or the host. And he's like, oh, I own my own animation company, you know, so on and so forth. Well, Killer Mike basically writes, these sisters are tripping and uh, I'm paraphrasing, but you know, uh, a white woman will, will, will come snatch them up. And I mean, it, honestly, I know a lot of people are not gonna like this, but this is one of the, tr the, the things that we wanna ignore. You know, when it comes to us brothers, you know, a lot, a, a lot of sisters want, they want they man to, that, to have it all. It's like, okay, you got to be 6'4", you know, you got to be in shape. You got to have a, a million dollars. And I'm being facetious when I'm saying all this, but it's like, we have these high standards. But when you go to, when, 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 when you go to the Middle East, when you go to East India, when you go to China, when you go to Japan, when, hell, even when you just look in, look at other cultures in America, they're not held to that same standard. You know, if a, uh, if a, uh, um, if William were to have his own animation company, Becky would be like, oh my God, you know, it don't matter how he dressed, he making however much money on the on the low. But with us, we it's like we have to have it all, and you know, and then at the same time, these people get snatched up by Becky's. And then our, our sisters are mad. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Well, why didn't you just date him when y'all was in college and you knew he was going, you know, to uh, going to school for being, being an animator? Y'all think that's lame. Just like growing up, you seen people, and a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. You seen people, you see some brothers, they was in the mathematics. You know, they was in like all the different STEM programs. Wasn't nobody talking to them, but everybody want to talk to the, the person who pull up who barely was in school and then he got a cutlass a cutlass supreme on rims he riding around uh he got tvs on the back and y'all think and he was the one that was that was wanted at the time but then the person who was in the stem program he go to a top school he find becky they didn't got married and had kids you know meanwhile the person got a couple baby daddies in jail they they not there and now they mad but you know as a culture we have to stop this madness i mean same thing for the brothers you know what i mean if you see a girl she's super nerdy but oh man you know you know she don't match my style i mean what do you mean she got everything you want right there but, but we we are we we as a <laughs> as black people we have this warped idea on you know what our whoever we're supposed to be with is supposed to be you know now again if y'all don't like them fine but it's just, it's just funny that like you know um we're just it's like we gotta be mr perfect we gotta be mr perfect but them other people you know other cultures and stuff i mean they can wear walmart clothes a fossil watch drive a a, a honda accord and would nobody say nothing about it you know but with us we got to match y'all fly we got to match y'all fly you know and this was just something i even tell my son like man don't even he in high school right man don't worry about it just go to college keep grinding you know and you'll find the right person you want you know hopefully it's a queen you know hopefully it's, hopefully it's a queen but you'll find that person that fits you it's just but at the same time you know to be fair the brother went on a menstrual show you don't i don't who knows what's real and what's fake but you know that show it's literally a menstrual show so you know the, you, you would almost think that it's more of a of a i don't know who want to say spruce or or whatever it kind of it almost reminds me of jerry springer a little bit with the the the, the theatrics of everything y'all know y'all know what i mean so you shouldn't you shouldn't be going on there to find to find a partner that's the last place you should go 
but it's just funny that you know um that really is what goes on in our community and one more thing i believe the host isn't even from like i don't think she's african-american and that should let y'all know that that's what a lot of people think about us you know what i mean and it's, it's just it's sad it's sad but you know y'all not gonna get it or not y'all but a lot of people not gonna get it and it's just it is what it our generation of millennials and up we're gonna see all this you know hot girl summer i don't need no man and da 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 da, da. we're gonna see where a lot of these people gonna be at in 10 20 years because even the people in my age group right you know a lot of us are, are pushing mid 30s or 40s and up a lot of people now i've seen a lot of people start to switch up over the last five six years before it was oh you ain't got these standards but now y'all now y'all want to bend but no no like now i got options you know <laughs> you know what i mean a lot of brothers got options i didn't work myself i didn't work my tail off now i got things that i want you know so it's just, it's sad it's sad you know we gotta we, we, we gotta get this goofy quirky and, oh you know he's he's square okay well get him some clothes you know oh he don't want to go there he boring well that's how most millionaires are but we want to live this rapper beyonce jay-z lifestyle and that's just not how it works but i just want to get my quick thought boss about it sisters please tell me i really want to know y'all opinions brothers am i tripping or is it just me but let me know what y'all think.